Do you really know where the lost city of Del Rio is? Doyle's been trying to get me a talk for days. The only reason he's keeping me alive is because I haven't broken yet. We're uh, talking about a lot of money here, right? I mean, riches beyond belief. So the legend goes. Right, gold and silver and rubies and diamonds. And lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Well, that explains why he's got you here like Papillon. But it doesn't tell us anything about what he's doing upriver with those supplies he's shipping on Bobby Cardina's barge. Maybe he's searching for the lost city, hoping to find it if Brian doesn't tell him. No, I looked at this stuff on the barge while we was coming up river, and it was construction material. And them guys ain't gonna build no church. Looks like you could use a hand, muchacho. I was going to cut you loose. Right. OK. Where are the firing pins, lady? I gave them to Doyle. You will not need them. You will be safe with me. I will get you back to Monte Alegre. We're not going back to Monte Alegre. Not yet. We're too close. We could be within throwing distance of that lost city. We're not turning back now. Brian, you need a doctor. I need to find that place. We may never get another chance like this. There are the devil's horns. I knew it. I knew it was here. So they found it. I knew they would. I knew they would lead us to it if we made their escape convincing enough. Uh, and myself and husband of me sister, we go free. The hell you are. You gotta take us back there. Back? Oh, it's no possible. You can't remember where it was? Our deal was to go with them when they escaped, to come and tell you. That was our deal. No, no, our deal is what I say it is. And unless your sister wants to lose a husband and a brother in one afternoon, you take us back to the lost city. Weapons, Doyle, or we'll drop you. Give it up, Smith. I know your weapons are useless. Come on out where I can see you. Come on out and uh, maybe I'll spare the women. <laughs> You're messing with some pretty bad magic, Jack! You don't realize who you're dealing with. I realize I'm dealing with a 200-pound sack of manure. Who's going to have a hard time crawling out of that hole? <laughs> you're not going to leave us here. I might spare the women. But first, you're going to give us back the firing pins to our weapons, and then you're going to take us for a little walk and show us what you've been building up around that bend in the river. nuclear reactor. They're building a nuclear reactor. 
You know, from here, that looks like Carlos Ritterman. The South American industrialist? Even my dad has business dealings with him. What would Ritterman be doing building a nuclear reactor in the middle of the Amazon jungle? Did you see that? Did you see what he did? Nazi Hannibal? They are Nazis. They are the new Reich. Strong, able, and undefeatable. I'll see you on the flip side. Hannibal, you can't leave us behind. Not at this point. Somehow I feel I owe Senor Ritterman. You've done enough. Your leg would hold us back. Besides, in case we don't come back, somebody's gonna tell the world what happened. Colonel Smith! Do not try to leave me behind. I wouldn't think of it, sweetheart. I'm aboard. Still no word from Doyle? No, sir. We will keep working until the supplies are exhausted. By then, the girls should have arrived with the uh, rest of the load. <sighs> Why should it not have it all the first time, is my question, and one I hope Doyle is prepared to answer. permit from our executive offices, pal. We're gonna have to close you down. Who in hell are you? The A-Team! Come on. 